And just like that, we're back again. What's up, folks? Uncle Bull Cow here. I got some Sonic. Um, I don't eat breakfast out that much, but I'm getting my oil change right next door, and I'm hungry. So I said, so I got the the ultimate burrito here. I don't know if this is the one that's got jalapenos in it or not. We're gonna see if it burns. Oh, this is the one. I don't know why. So I got this once before. This is just, I think it's just got bacon and eggs in it. I put some hash browns in it to make it more girthy. Plus it just tastes better. But uh, now that's a burrito. <laughs> I don't think they wrap them too good here, but nevertheless, we're going to play Will It Burn. Yeah, Black Dog Barking Hot Ghost Pepper Sauce. We're going to get this, try to get this orifice reducer off of here. I do not have any nails. Let's get this thing off on here. One, of the, one way or another, you're going to come off of there, buddy. I think I'm getting beat by an orifice reducer. Guys, this is, there we go. Get that pop on. This burrito is falling apart. I think I need to, it's rolled backwards, that's why. You gotta go like this with it. You ever get that where you can't roll something the other way because you're left-handed or because you're right-handed? All right, will it burn? Sonic Ultimate Burrito. Black Dog Gourmet, Barking Hot Ghost. Oh yes, look at the pour on that. Look at that beautiful sauce. Mmm. My daughter tried a little drop of that last night. <clears throat> she said it burned her, but she liked it. Um, so shout out to Black Dog, Dog Gourmet, Paul. Thank you so much. You good, sir? I'm good. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> she's had, she loves Black Dog. My daughter loves Black Dog jalapeno garlic. <clears throat> and um, woo. will it burn? Yeah, I'm on fire. So. Um, the mango habanero, she, the last night was the first time she tried it. She said she liked it at first, then I think because it's a sweeter sauce afterwards, she, after the video was done, we did a little video, but she, um, she told me she liked this one, the jalapeno more, and I think it was because of, you know, the mango habanero is a sweet sauce, and it didn't really go with what we were eating, but I was letting her go, you know, she's, she's ate habanero sauces before. But she wanted to try a ghost pepper sauce. <clears throat> She's working her way up. And I'm proud of her. Because she is literally like... She freaks out. <laughs> she, she'll... Now there's been times where she's got a serious burn because she'll just grab something off my wife's plate. A lot of times my wife shares snacks or hors d'oeuvres or a plate of food with her my wife will say those are they got hot sauce on them don't eat them my daughter just she ain't paying attention she'll be running around the house and just run up and just grab them and she's got lit before or she's ate off of like a cutting board where we're cutting up peppers different ones so she's gotten burnt <clears throat> before but uh she didn't show an interest in it until recently. She always liked hot sauce. I always make her her own hot sauce. But I made some dried fruit and it was spicy. And she was eating it and she was going, she goes, I want more daddy. I go, are you sure? She said, yeah. She's eating it all of a sudden. She's like, <laughs> I'm like, are you lit? Are you burning? She said, yeah. I go, why are you still eating it? She's like, because it tastes so good. <laughs> so, 
So, um, wow, I'm burning pretty good. This is probably, I think this is my favorite. It's got to be my favorite ghost pepper sauce. The flavor on this is phenomenal. Mmm. If you're local, you probably had this. <clears throat> um, the girl just brought my food out, said she's never heard of it. But she might not be a chili head. So uh, if you're a local chili head, you know about this sauce. Uh, but if you're not, you can go to Black Dog Gourmet Square site and you can order this. It's got a little chipotle in it. But not too much. You guys know I'm very weird when it comes to Chipotle. Um, Chipotle, I like it subtle. Now, if I do get a sauce that's too strong, um, I'll still use it. Mix it with sour cream, you know, for quesadillas. Mix it with some mayonnaise for a sandwich. So, I'm a, I'm a Chipotle lover. It's just that so many um, people over the last couple years came out with so many chipotle sauces and it just the industry got watered down with chipotle i know it's too much a lot of them were too smoky the flavor was too strong so now we have you know a whole generation that is anti chipotle okay a lot of people um me i am not anti chipotle but <clears throat> when I go to hot sauce expos, hot sauce festival, stuff like that, the last sauce that I'll try on someone's booth is the Chipotle. So, those good ones out there, it's just that shot to the heart and you're to blame. Baby, you gave Chipotle a bad name. Um, this has just a little bit in it. The flavor on this is a 10 out of 10. The heat on it, it's hot, man. I mean, it's it's a ghost pepper sauce, you know. It's uh, it's hot. I just love, I just love it. I absolutely. You guys see, I'm, I'm polishing this. I have a bottle gone here soon. Hmm. How y'all doing today? Will it burn? Heck yeah. This is actually the one of the better breakfast burritos I've gotten from here. Um, I probably come over here about twice a year. Two, three times a year. I'll come to get my oil change or get an inspection. I, 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 I go to Grease Monkey, you know? The freaking Grease Monkeys know what they're doing. Price is good. But, uh... Anyways, yeah, I'm not a, I don't eat fast food breakfast much. When I do, when I do, you know, I gotta bring my holster with me. I think you guys might be able to get your hands on these still, but this is late for work, hot sauce holsters. These are made by hotsauceholsters.com. Steve. <clears throat> I had an extra one. Not, not, it wasn't late for work, but I did. I did it. I put it in a giveaway, and then for my daughter, I let her rock my um, my League of Fire World uh, World Champion one that Steve made. Um, and so, you know, wow. Mmm. Phenomenal. Comment below if you ever had this. Phenomenal sauce. Phenomenal. A lot of times I don't get to restock sauces. Or it takes me a while. I can't say that I, I don't. <clears throat> I just re-upped on sauces. You know, when I, when I get a sauce that I like that much, I reorder it. Now, it might take me a little while because I have other commitments. Um, if I tell somebody I'm gonna, they come out with a new sauce or a friend of mine, I'll order it sometime in the next month. I always say, <clears throat> hardly ever order anything the day it comes out. 
I have. <laughs> Very few times. I'm usually late to the party with that stuff. But uh, I want to encourage any of you that are YouTube reviewers, you know, that do hot sauce reviews, enjoy yourself. And don't be scared to reorder something that you like. Um, I mean, I've seen a lot of people that they'll order a sauce, they'll say, this is 10 out of 10 on flavor, it's so phenomenal. <clears throat> and they'll have that sauce, that bottle gone in 24 hours. Then they don't never reorder it, you know? And it's because they, they're, they're a slave to the content. They have to put out new content. They already reviewed that sauce, I can't review it again. Yeah, yeah you can. <laughs> you know, make wings with it. Do a wing review. Do a wing eating contest, something like that. Um, or just review it again, man. Screw everybody. What's the big deal, you know? That's what I got to say. But I'd like to see people get better about that. Um, you know, keep your top 10 favorite hot sauces stocked. That way, plus, if you got people over or something, <clears throat> and they say, what's your favorite hot sauce? Oh, man, I love this one. I don't have any right now, but, oh, and this one. Yeah, I just ran out yesterday. I'm, oh, this one, but I ain't had it in a year. What kind of testimony is that to the pepper community? <laughs> That's like someone coming in your house and wanting a sandwich, and you're like, I'm a Duke's mayonnaise guy, man, and, and, you know, but but if I have to, I'll eat Hellman's and blah, blah, blah. You make them a sandwich with frickin' Miracle Whip. Come on, Jabroni. What kind of testimony are you to the mayonnaise community? Uh, good breakfast, good breakfast burrito. Good burn. I can feel it in my gut. The, the, the hot sauce doing its job. It's like it's, it's breaking down that food. Guys, that's a hot one. <clears throat> wow. If you guys watch my videos for a while, you kind of hear my story about this. <clears throat> when, uh, how I came to know these guys. And uh, they're local. They got phenomenal products. They literally, their, their mango uh, habanero is probably my favorite mango habanero sauce. It's just the smoothest perfect, perfect balance. All right, guys, will it burn? Heck yeah.